everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and we are here to do another painting today. And today's painting is on an 11 by 14 canvas. I measured it, so some of the prior videos probably have the wrong um, dimensions in them because this one is an 11 by 14. Um, today is going to start on the first week of June. Uh, it's June 3rd. And so we are going to do the Things I've Never Done Before pours. Um, I think I've come up with five, but if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments. Um, today's pour will be on a cookie container. It's like um, like out of a package. I like these were all lined up this way, <laughs> and I cut them, and then I stapled them together, and then they kind of like lean funny. So I'm using these uh, syringe things to level it out. But it's got some pretty cool ridges. Watch, I won't be able to get this to go back now. I'll worry about that in a little bit. Um, but they've got these really cool ridges, so I want to see how that, um, what that does to the pour. Um, probably put a little bit of a, a little bit of a base coat down just because it doesn't go the full length of the canvas. And then the colors we're using today are gold, the mint green that I mixed using just regular green and white, red, pink, and this purple I've mixed. These are all Artist Loft Flow Acrylics mixed with low troll and water. So we'll go ahead and get started. So we've got the contraption set back up and here is our really cool cup with the reds, purples, green. I did use the mint green as the base coat even though it's really not going to be a base coat. It's just to help it flow. So we'll see how this goes guys. Wish me luck. By the way, it looks super crazy cool going down the slide sides of this thing here. I feel like the back side got more than the front side. There's our cup. Hopefully that wasn't completely out of focus the entire time. Here, let me show you. See how cool that is going down the sides? I'm going to let it drip for a little bit. Really cool. And then I'm going to figure out some way to get the paint off of these guys because I don't want to waste it. So we'll, we'll put it on the canvas. So. Alright. So. Let's see what you can do. Just let it pour off for a minute. that good and then I'm gonna take this and let it drip a little bit more set that aside and then we'll tilt and see what we get here I think we should have enough paint on the canvas we may have some green negative space I think the colors are pretty cool. It's definitely not um, I don't know the word I'm looking for here. Not like the usual array of colors you see me using. I think my favorite you see is just the rainbow. Red, yellow, blue. So I like mixing it up. There's actually no black or white in this one. Mainly because there's no white mixed right now. It is on the list of things to do. 
but yeah, I really like this. I like these greens and that pink and maybe the the gold mixing kind of made this like orangey color. I'm going to stretch that out because I do like that better than the darker section here. And I'm just always afraid with the darker sections that it will um, dry really dark and not have a lot of contrast. So I like it better now like that. I will torch it. I will attempt to torch it. <laughs> the torch is painted onto the table. liking that a whole lot guys hope you do you enjoy it too let's come in for a close-up the colors are slightly darker in person and that green is definitely more vibrant than what you are seeing on the camera so we'll start in the upper left corner here I like this section of the purples and the pinks and then over across the top, we have all these crazy cells and this green. That's definitely closer color-wise to the green. It's definitely brighter than it was appearing earlier. Upper right corner, got some little bitty tiny cells. Some really cool green lacing down the side. Some of those darker colors, the reds and purples. Some little bitty cells in them. Another cool section of reds and purples. And then in here, that's kind of like the orangey color. Like, there's no orange in it. There's not even yellow in it, I guess, except for the green. But I didn't mix the, gr like, the only thing that's in that that I mix is white and green. So I guess technically there would be yellow from the manufacturers making green. <laughs> and then the uh, lower, sorry, I stuck my hand in paint. The uh, lower left-hand corner, some more of those darker shades there really like it um i'm hoping it'll dry pretty cool and uh yeah let me know what you think of this experiment if you enjoyed using that um contraption i created it was a cookie holder thing from like a package of cookies um if you like this technique or not i do want to thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and do it makes you happy